Hey guys, so today I wanted to let y'all in a little bit on how I draw my characters, how I have my creative process going. And to do that, I wanted to use the Sweet Timber Days prompt created by Mimimu Illustrations, who is an artist that's on Instagram and YouTube. I actually found them through YouTube and then was looking on Instagram and saw this prompt list that they came up with with a bunch of other creators and thought it would be a really great way to explain to y'all how I go from start to finish of an idea or a prompt to a finished piece like this one, Mabel, here. And if you wanna see Mabel more, of course you can always check them out on my Instagram along with all my other characters that I post daily. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show this video. And the first thing that I do here is I start like thumbnailing a little bit and creating some ideas and just kind of fooling around with shapes and forms and see what I like and I don't like. So for instance, I created this upside down book because I just wanted to kind of see how drawing a book is gonna work for me. I, it's not really something I do a lot. I don't really draw too many objects anymore. I used to, but now I mainly just draw animals. So now after I start getting the hang of that, I go into this process of, okay, how do I want my character Mabel uh, to fit into this piece? And what I want to do is make M Mabel fly be falling asleep while reading a book, right? So I do that in this first try, which I'll go back a little bit here and show this. I'm lacking a little bit of anatomical correctness, I guess. And that's something that even for the cute, simple art style that I do, it's something that I strive for where I wanna to try to make sure that I have that correctness and make sure that I'm actually making the correct forms and shapes when I'm drawing these characters. Cause if I don't, there are some things and I've taken it down now, but I'll probably put it up here somewhere of some previous posts that I've made of objects and things that don't necessarily look right because of the way that I was studying the shapes or rather my lack of study of shapes. So that's always something that I recommend and there are plenty of videos here on YouTube and I will hopefully make some videos soon regarding about how to fix shapes and those kinds of things. And I'll talk a little bit about it here too, as this is something that I actually haven't done a lot of, but it really helped me in this situation as I couldn't figure out quite what I'm gonna do uh, for this sleeping position for Mabel. So what I did was I created some basic shapes. Here I have a sphere and then this kind of cylindrical shape for the body and the head and making sure that I can just fit uh, Mabel into this kind of sleeping position and I continue doing that and I continue editing it I make it a little bit rounder because I like my characters to be kind of like chubby and a little bit uh, more just cute and soft with the round shapes and edges and I start fooling around with eyes a little bit and the nose and I eventually realize that hey since Mabel's a horse maybe I want to make the snout a little bit longer and that kind of thing right and then I put Mabel into the sleeping position and start putting out the arms and legs of Mabel. And as you can see here, I'm actually just using cylinders and prisms to create these legs and something that I will actually go through later and fix right here as I erase stuff. And now you can see that even though, I'll go back just a little bit, even though we have all these complex shapes here, right? It actually still, over the course of time, I'll actually let it play out a little bit, it becomes this simple shape, right? It just goes from these rectangular prisms and all these like harder, um, a little bit more like what you would think would fall under, I guess like a realism or like more um, complex art tree into this simple art style that you see me draw all the time, right? And now I have these simple shapes and I have everything built in. And what I did here was I actually put the book on another layer just to make sure that I wasn't gonna mess anything up by accident. And I start drawing the book and by putting it on a new layer, I was able to move it around a little bit and make sure that's positioned correctly. And again, just using these shapes. So I'm actually using like a trapezoidal prism. Uh, I'm probably gonna get roasted by someone who knows mathematical terms better than me, but that's okay. Um, about, I use this trapezoidal prism to create this book and then to kind of just fold it over Mabel, who is currently just trying to enjoy a nap. I, write book across it just like to give just for something a little bit funny and then I decide to clean up my workspace just so I can focus on this. Now that I've done that I start with my lettering, I start with Sweet Timber Days and my tag and then I start getting to work on inking. Um, inking here I actually use uh, one brush for pretty much everything. It's a brush made by Ghost Paper which I will link in the description and I'll put in the little information thing as well. Um, it's an amazing video it talks about uh, br or this brush is like actually really helpful um, for me as I just love having a style that's all like 
the same line weight and the same um, symmetry, that kind of vibe. So I am really happy with this brush and it's also a free brush. So if you want to try it, I highly recommend it. And I'll just let this play out a little bit. And I let this, I keep working on lettering. As you can see, lettering is something that takes me a lot of time, but I definitely think it's worth it. And then for coloring, I use my old Mabel for reference. Oh, ooh, a, little, a little glitchy over here, over here. So I use, uh, I use my old Mabel for reference and I actually made a separate palette that just has all these colors in it because it's easier for me to keep up with. And then I, all I have to do is just fill in the colors. And since I already made this palette, it's something that I don't really have to worry about making sure that it fits correctly or not because I already know it fits correctly. And now that I have all that done, all that's left is just kind of color it in and that's it. We're complete. And now it's a post ready for Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching as always. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out Instagram if you want to see more of my work as I post there every single day. And if you want to see more of these kind of process videos and stuff, be sure to let me know. Or if you want to see a different kind of video, also let me know in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.